Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'm going to discuss all the classic symptoms of a bad trailing arm bushing. Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know you have a bad trailing arm? The trailing arm is basically a long metal rod with two bushing on each end and it connects the axle to the body of the vehicle. So basically the purpose of the trailing arm is to allow the axle to move up and down freely. When the trailing arm bushings on each end becomes worn, driver's gonna notice all sorts of symptoms. The first sign driver's going to notice is going to be noise. So basically when a rubber bushing on each end of the trailing arm becomes worn, it's gonna cause metal to metal contact. When there are metal to metal contact, for example, let's say you are driving over a speed bump, potholes, on even road surfaces, on gravel roads, or when you are making a turn, Driver's gonna notice clunking noise. Driver's gonna notice loud metallic noise. Driver's gonna notice thumping noise, and so on. These noises can also be heard when you are accelerating or when you are braking as well. So when you are hearing noises coming from the rear end of the vehicle caused by a worn trailing bushing, you're also gonna notice the next symptom as well, which is quite scary. The next symptom is going to be death wobble. So basically death wobble is when you are driving, you're holding the steering wheel and it literally feels like you have no control of your vehicle. Again, when you're hitting the pothole, when you're driving on uneven road services, when you're going over speed bumps, or sometimes the vehicle just literally just act on its own and it feels like it wants to turn left, it wants to turn right, and so on. So again, when you experience death wobble, so that's basically just the vehicle is just unstable while driving. Again, this is normally going to be caused by worn trailing arm bushing. So the purpose of the trailing arm bushing is to absorb noise, to reduce vibration, to absorb any twisting in the uh, suspension. And again, when the bushing is worn, you're going to hear all those symptoms as mentioned earlier. The next problem you're going to notice is going to be worn tires. So the trailing arm bushing becomes worn, it's going to cause alignment issue. Again, when you have alignment issue, that's going to affect the tire. It's going to wear out unevenly on both sides. The next sign is going to be instability when turning. So when you're turning either left or right and it feels like you don't have much control, again, that's going to be caused by a worn rear trailing arm bushing. Sometimes when replacing the trailing arm, sometimes it's very difficult to remove it. To remove the trailing arm, the first thing I recommend is to lubricate the uh, trailing arm bolts and nuts with penetrating oil and allow it to soak for about 15 minutes or so. If that does not work, what I recommend is using MAP gas, basically a torch, and basically you just want to heat up the uh, bolts and nuts and it's going to help free up the, uh, the seized uh, bolt and nuts. And you're still having problem removing that bolt and nut, you have probably have no choice but to cut out that bolt. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repair.